Good morning students. Welcome back to your English conversation class. I hope you all are good. So students, it's day 5 of our class. And uh, today I'm going to tell you some of the basic daily use sentences that you can easily use and that we do use or use bhi karte hain. We use them daily but in Hindi, right? Okay, so these are some of the basic daily use sentences which you can easily use while talking with your family members or your friends. And you all should practice them from today only. And just practice them daily. Then only you will get used to them. Okay. Start practicing them on daily basis. Okay. Although these are very basic ones. But yeah, they are very useful. Because that's what we use in our day to day life. So whenever you start any conversation with any of your friend or your family member, the first thing we say, you know, we must include are the basic greetings like saying hello. How, how's it going? How are things? Kaisa chal rai sab? What's up? Nice to meet you. Long time no see. How have you been? Long time no see means bohat time ho gaya, dikhe nahi ho. Okay. How have you been? Okay, like kaise hai aap? Okay, so long time no see. What is long time no see? Bohat time se aap dekhe nahi ho. Okay, itne time baad mil rahe hain. So these are the ways in which you can greet someone. These are the ways to say hello to someone or start a conversation. Now let's see how to respond to a greeting. Kaise hume usko respond karna hai? Great, thanks. How about you? Ki aap kaise ho? In response to WhatsApp. Not much the usual. Okay, what's up agar aapse koi poochta hai, bolta hai, to you'll say not much usual. Usual means nothing new. Okay. Students, although these are the basic ones, but we come across them daily. Right? And we don't find proper words to convert it in English sentences. Okay, so these are the basic greetings and their response. Kaise hum respond karenge unko? Now, saying goodbye. I've got to get going. That means mujhe jana hai. It was a pleasure meeting you. See you later. Stay in touch. Stay in touch means baat karte rehna. Okay. So these are some of the basic greetings of saying goodbye or the ways of saying goodbye. Which are they? I've got to get going. It was a pleasure meeting you. Ki aap se milke bohat achha laga. See you later. Baad mein milte hain. And stay in touch. Okay. These are some of the ways of saying goodbye. Right? Now, asking for information, if you want to ask something, so you'll say, you'll just ask it in this way, can or could you tell me whatever you want to ask? This is just a question, example. Can or could you tell me what this word means? Can you tell me what does this word means? Or could you tell me what this word means? Would you happen to know? Ki aapko pata hai? Would you happen to know where the library is? These are the two ways in which you can ask for any information. Okay. Next one is hesitating. Right. Like that's a good question. Let me see. It's like when you hesitate, you have a problem. You don't know what you're doing. So it's like that's a good question. Let me see. Let me think for a moment. Okay. When you don't know what you're doing. When you don't know So you must say it like that. Let me see. Let me think for a moment. Okay. Next one is asking for repetition like in class or anytime you know you didn't uh, understand anything. So you can just ask how. Excuse me. Like you can say you, you all must uh, say and you do say excuse me. Okay. Sorry. I didn't catch it. Okay. Ki mujhe samaj nahi aaya. Sorry. Can you repeat it again? Okay. Would you mind repeating that? Ki agar aap repeat karoge kuch problem hai agar aap repeat karoge to. Okay, so these are the polite ways. Okay, polite ways in which you can ask something. Okay, for repetition. Or can or could you speak a little more slowly, please? Okay, so these are some of the ways. Like first of all, you can say, "Excuse me, sorry, I didn't catch that." Would you mind repeating that? Can you speak a little more slowly, please? Or could you speak a little more slowly, please? Okay, next one is saying, "I don't know." Although you can say this line, I don't know, but instead of that, aap uske alawa kya keh sakte ho? I'm afraid I have no idea. That means mujhe nahi pata. Okay, I'm afraid I have no idea. Can't help you there, sorry. Ki main yahan pe help nahi kar sakta tumhari, sorry. Because I don't know. Okay, 
बीट्स मी दैट मीन्स आई रियली डोंट नो मै हार मानी राइट दैट वे सो बीट्स मी ओके सो दीज आर द सम वेज इन विच यू कैन से आई डोंट नो मुझे नहीं पता इन पुल इन अ पोलाइट वे वैसे तो आप आई डोंट नो भी कह सकते हो बट इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट आप और क्या क्या कह सकते हो ओके ना ओपिनियंस व्यूज आस्क इम फॉर सम वन ओपिनियन कि वो क्या सोचते हैं वॉट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दैट दैट देर इज अ सिचुएशन ओके कोई भी सिचुएशन है एंड यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क द अदर पर्सन कि वो क्या सोचते हैं उस बारे में सो यू कैन आस्क वॉट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दैट तुम्हें क्या लगता है राइट वॉट आर योर योर व्यूज ऑन दिस कि आपके क्या व्यूज हैं इस बात पर सो दीज आर टू वेज इन विच यू कैन आस्क लाइक वॉट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दैट ओके एंड वॉट आर योर व्यूज ऑन दिस ओके सो दीज आर द टू वेज इन यूज इन विच यू कैन आस्क फॉर सम वन ओपिनियंस और देयर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यूज राइट एंड गिविंग योर ओपिनियन आई थिंक दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया आप अपनी ओपिनियन कैसे दोगे आई थिंक दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया आई ऑनेस्टली डोंट थिंक इट्स गोइंग टू वर्क ठीक है अगर आपको लगता है कि येस इट्स अ गुड आइडिया अच्छा है तो यू कैन से आई थिंक दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया बट इफ़ यू थिंक इट विल नॉट वर्क कि अच्छा आइडिया नहीं है सो हाउ शुड यू से दैट आई ऑनेस्टली डोंट थिंक इट्स गोइंग टू वर्क मुझे नहीं लगता कि ये काम करेगा ओके आई ऑनेस्टली डोंट थिंक इट्स गोइंग टू वर्क नेक्स्ट इज एज फार एज आई एम कंसर्न दिस इज द बेस्ट रेस्टोरेंट इन टाउन ओके सो एज फार एज आई एम कंसर्न कि जितना मुझे पता है राइट वी से ना जितना मुझे पता है ये सबसे बेस्ट है सो इन दैट केस यू कैन से एज फार एज आई एम कंसर्न दिस इज द बेस्ट दैट वे ओके ओके नाउ अवॉइडिंग अ क्वेश्चन लाइक यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू आंसर एनी क्वेश्चन और यू डोंट यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड दैट क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन यू जस्ट रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट आई डोंट हैव एन ओपिनियन ऑन द मैटर दैट मेरा कोई ओपिनियन नहीं है इस मैटर पे लेट मी गेट बैक टू यू ऑन दैट कि आई गेट बैक टू यू ऑन दैट दैट मीन्स आई टॉक ऑन दैट मैटर आफ्टर सम टाइम आई एम नॉट एट लिबर्टी टू से और आई एम नॉट अलाउड टू से दैट और आई एम नॉट अलाउड टू आंसर दैट ओके दीज आर सम ऑफ द वेज इन विच यू कैन अवॉइड एनी क्वेश्चन कि अगर आपको किसी क्वेश्चन को आंसर नहीं करना है राइट और यू नीड सम टाइम टू आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन डिले दैट बाय यू नो बाय दीज सेंटेंस बाय यूजिंग दीज सेंटेंसेज राइट ओके सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज अग्रींग और डिस एग्रींग ठीक है नाउ एग्रींग मीन्स इट्स अ येस डिस एग्रींग इट्स अ नो सो एक्सप्रेसिंग एग्रीमेंट एग्रीमेंट कैसे एक्सप्रेस करेंगे आप आई कुडेंट एग्री मोर You are absolutely right. I agree with you hundred percent. You hit the nail on the head. These are the four sentences in which you can say a yes. Okay, like there is a situation given. एक situation मिली है आपको, right? And you agree to that situation. कि yes, this is correct. So how you can say yes? I couldn't agree more. इससे ज़्यादा नहीं हो सकता agree, right? You are absolutely right. I agree with you hundred percent. You hit the nail on the head. That means this is the best idea. Okay. Now, expressing disagreement. I'm not sure I agree. I'm afraid I disagree. I think you are mistaken. That means I think you are mistaken means आपको गलत फहमी हुई है or you are wrong. Okay. So these are the ways in which you can express your agreement and disagreement. Yes or no. Right. Okay. Now, interrupting politely. like a conversation is going on right two people uh, two of the people are talking and you want to interrupt you want to add so how can you interrupt politely not rudely politely sorry to interrupt you can i stop you there for a moment do you mind if i jump in there do you mind if i jump in there so these are the some of the ways in which you can interrupt but politely sorry to interrupt you कैन आई स्टॉप यू देयर फॉर अ मोमेंट क्या मैं थोड़ी देर के लिए आपको रोक सकता हूँ एंड देन यू कैन से योर यू नो योर ओपिनियन जो आपको एड करना है जिसके लिए आपने इंटरप्ट किया उनको राइट डू यू माइंड इफ आई जम्प इन देयर जम्प इन देयर मीन्स जम्प इन टू द कन्वर्सेशन इन बिटवीन ओके सो दिस इज इट सो इट इज हाउ यू कैन इंटरप्ट पोलाइटली राइट ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज इंटरप्टिंग पोलाइटली बट अलाउंग इंटरप्शन अलाउंग मीन्स कि हाँ यू एग्री कि हाँ that person can interrupt so how you can say go ahead yes go ahead means continue ki ha bilkul aap bol sakte hain or sure go on but if you want to refuse interruption ki nahi aap beech mein nahi bol sakte so how you can say let me finish ki pehle mujhe finish karne do 
राइट और होल्ड ऑन फॉर अ मोमेंट दैट मीन्स थोड़ी देर रुको लेट मी कंप्लीट माई पार्ट देन यू कैन स्पीक ठीक है सो दीज आर द टू वेज इन विच यू कैन अलाउ इंटरप्शन एंड रिफ्यूज इंटरप्शन ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सजेशंस रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू सजेशंस लाइक इज समन सजेस्ट यू समथिंग राइट सो दैट वुड बी ग्रेट साउंड गुड टू मी ओके सो इफ यू से येस कि अच्छा सजेशन है सो यू कैन से दैट वुड बी ग्रेट इट साउंड गुड टू मी कि ये बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है इट विल वर्क आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दैट नो आई डोंट थिंक सो एंड दिस इज अ नो कि अगर आपको आइडिया पसंद नहीं आया सो हाउ यू कैन से यू कैन से आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दैट दैट मुझे नहीं लगता इट विल वर्क ओके नो आई डोंट थिंक सो नो आई डोंट थिंक सो ओके द फर्स्ट टू सेंटेंसेज आर टू से येस एंड द अदर टू आर टू से नो ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मेकिंग प्लान्स नाउ आस्किंग अबाउट प्लान्स वॉट आर यू डूइंग टू नाइट गॉट एनी प्लान्स फॉर टूमोरो आर यू फ्री नेक्स्ट संडे डू यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग दिस वीक एंड दीज आर द वेज इन विच यू कैन आस्क योर फ्रेंड्स फॉर एनी प्लान्स और वेन यू वॉन्ट टू मीट योर फ्रेंड्स एट देयर प्लेस और एनी थिंग सो यू कैन से लाइक वॉट आर योर प्लान्स ऑन संडे और गॉट एनी प्लान्स ऑन संडे आर यू फ्री नेक्स्ट संडे Do you want to do something this weekend? That means Saturday weekend means Saturday Sunday. So this is the way you can ask for any of the plan. Okay. Now saying no to a plan. अगर आपको नहीं जाना आपने you know with your friends. So how can you say no politely? No, sorry, I have already made some plans. That means I have already made some plans. I am having some plans. So no, sorry. Okay. I am kind of busy tomorrow. So you can say that I am kind of busy on Sunday. Okay. I would love to do something, but I can't. Okay, so these are the ways in which you can say no to a plan. I would love to do something, but yeah, I can't because I'm busy. And then you can add sentences. These are the basic sentences. You can do the additions by your own, depending on the situation. Okay. Now permission, asking for permission. Do you mind if I use your cell phone? This is the way you can start. Would it be okay? If I took the day off tomorrow, I have or if I use your phone, these are the ways in in you can ask for permission from anyone. Okay, now if you refuse to that permission or do you want, if you want to say no for that permission, you can say unfortunately I have to say no. I would rather you didn't. In response to do you mind? I am afraid I do. That means I cannot give you my phone or that way. Okay, so these are the ways of refusing permission. Okay, you have to be polite while speaking English. Now, requests. You all know about requests. Like, can you or could you pass that salt? Could you do this? Would you mind lending me some money? Would you line mind lending me your pen? Okay. I was wondering if you could help me with this. I was wondering if you could help me with this sum. Okay. These are the ways in which you can make requests in a very polite way. How do you have to respond to that request? Sure, no problem. If you want to say yes, so you can say sure, no problem. Yes, of course. I would be glad to help. कि मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगेगा आपकी help करके. And if you want to say no, so you can say sorry, I can't right now. I'm afraid I can't. Sorry, I can't right now. Okay. Now offers. Now making or you know making offers. responding to the offers yes please like if someone offers you something like would you like to have coffee so you can say yes please okay that would be great thanks okay and if you want to say no so you can say i am okay but thanks for offering okay if you if someone offers you anything if you someone offers you like coffee only so you can say if you don't want that okay thanks okay you can say no or i am good thanks or you can say i'm okay but thanks for offering right these are the ways in which the other person would also feel good okay these are very polite gestures you all should follow now thanking people this is a very common one we thank people now so we just say thank you instead of that you can also say thanks a million cheers i really appreciate it that's very kind of you i can't thank you enough these are the ways in which you can thank people okay okay now just see the next one responding to thanks okay so instead of welcome what you can you say it's nothing don't mention it any time my pleasure these are the ways in which you can respond to a thanks like generally if someone say thanks we say welcome 
instead of that you can say it's nothing any time it's my pleasure don't mention it now apologizing making an apology i'm really uh, sorry about that please accept my apology apologies okay these are the ways first of all you can say sorry really sorry about that please accept my apologies accepting an apology don't worry about it okay agar aapko you know if someone apologizes if someone says sorry how can you say, respond to that don't worry about it no worries or it's okay no worries hota rehta hai you know general so students these were some of the basic sentences or uh, you can easily use in your day to day life because these are very basic ones jo hum daily use karte hain and it's not only at your school or your with your friends you can use them any time anywhere with your family members also okay because these are daily expressions do practice them write them down in your notebook in which you are writing these days for your summer camp work okay and students also make a short video while conversing with any of your family member either you can make a short video of conversing with family member or you can make it by your own how can you do that in that case you can just say like while making let's suppose this example only while making an apology we can say i am really sorry about that or please accept my apologies in this way you can make your own personal video and students start practicing these uh, daily expressions in your day to day life with your you know at your place at your home because in this way you will feel confident you will you know you will uh, notice that your communication skills are improving definitely they will improve but for that you have to work a bit aapko thoda na efforts dalne honge right so i hope you have enjoyed the video please go through all the expressions and also learn them So I'll see you all in your next class till then take care